Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thanks for joining me here in the studio. Um, I'm taking a look at this Radtel 880 again, and I'm going to show you guys how to do the um, crossband repeat function. And there's two modes when you start up this thing, and you get there both the same way. You go from one to the other by doing the same thing. But what you do is turn it off, and there's one called full band tuning, and then there's the regular mode. And so what you do is you press this lower arrow here, hold it down, and then turn the radio on. And that went into full band tuning. And um, so that allows you to, you got to be in full band tuning to use this center uh, shortwave antenna, right? To get to the shortwave, all the ham bands, all the shortwave frequencies. That's where that's used. But to use the crossband repeat, you got to be in regular mode. So you shut it off again and make sure you do this. You get this screen. Now you're in regular mode. And that's where you can actually do crossband repeat. So this is super simple, you guys. So what you want to do is choose a simplex frequency from one band to the other. So I'm choosing one four six five thousand uh input and then on one and then four four six dot zero seventy centimeters on the other one. So whichever one you transmit on, say you transmit on the four four six, it's gonna transmit out on the one four six five thousand and vice versa. So you can see I've got these this Wotion Q ten H set up and I've got my uh 935H setup. But what you need to do is go in here and choose a button. This thing, I don't know if you watched any of my other videos, this thing you can you can assign um, each key with a, a specific function. So what you want to do is go in to menu there, press the green button, and go down to key define, press your green, and then we're going to go down, we're going to program number five. We're going to use this for our crossband repeater function. So we're looking for long press number five. There we go. So we're going to uh, select that and then we're going to go to UV repeater. And you can see it's just within these, these menus here. So go to UV repeater, choose that. You just hit green and you hit exit out of there. Now what this does is it sets up the top area and middle area for your crossband repeat. And then the third area, they call it area ABC. Area C is disabled right now. So if I did this right, we should be able to key up on the Wotion here on 146.5000 and watch it transmit into the other Wotion um, on Simplex here. So let's try it. And there we go. I should take these antennas off. Let's do it again. I'm take the antenna off because I just blew out. <laughs> Overloaded with RF. So my uh, microphone, my microphone is getting overloaded, right? Because it's right next to it. So I'll take the antenna off here real quick. It's not going to hurt these radios, just a brief. So we're going to do it the other way. And you can see over here. And I'm going to go ahead and identify, then we can finish up here. All right. So, um, I ended up clearing my call there, but this thing is super cool. You guys, this is a hell of a radio for what you get for price. This thing is about 75 bucks. This, this, this is the non GPS, non APRS version for 75 bucks. This, this radio here was $220. This motion here was 160, something like that, 150 bucks. So you're getting a lot for this radio and you can go into the shortwave receive and all that stuff. Um, I heard somebody talking about, uh, this is a non FCC approved device. Well, there's a lot of that going around. And, uh, if you're an amateur radio operator, it's not really that big a deal because you're allowed to 
experiment and use and modify radios that do not need the FCC approval. Um, for example, say this radio here, I don't believe it has a, a valid uh, FCC license. Um, but say I, say I bought this every single component. I ordered it, brought it to my house, made this thing homebrew from scratch. Now I can use this thing. I can modify it. I can transmit. I can use this thing uh, without a FCC sticker on it. As long as you are within the parameters laid out per band, you're, you're not doing spray and submissions. You're not doing crazy harmonics and interfering. You're not, you're within the power limits, all of that stuff. And this one on the bands that it does say it's, uh, um, designed for, uh, that it is, uh, it claims to transmit on it is clean. So yes, it transmits on all kinds of other frequencies, but it doesn't mean you do that. <laughs> uh, like I said, if I, if I built a radio, this is how you got to understand it. If I built a radio from scratch at home and it covered all frequencies, even outside of the hand bands. So what, as long as I'm not using it and transmitting where I'm not supposed to and where I am licensed to transmit, as long as I'm not interfering and as long as I'm sticking with the parameters of the band and what the FCC says, say two meters, uh, this thing's clean and it's got no uh, spurious emissions. Um, the one I built, same thing. It's all good. You're good to go. So yes, I would like to see them have proper FCC, uh, license, um, registration and all that stuff, but, uh, they get around it through that, what they call that amateur loophole. And that's how they can sell these radios. Uh, baofeng has been doing it for a long time. Um, all kinds of manufacturers have, have, have done it for a long time. They use the amateur loophole. They sell it for amateur radio use only. But of course, a lot of people are using these things for GMRS and all that stuff. So it is up to the individual to be responsible. Okay. So just cause this radio can do crazy things doesn't mean you should, but it doesn't mean you shouldn't buy it and own it and use it within the proper specs. Um, because I really, really dig this radio and it's been a good performer for me so far. Uh, just the one issue. And I think that is a fixed issue. Um, they had to send me a, a SSB patch. So the, the short wave, I could switch between lower sideband and upper sideband. I, I did a video on that, but, um, I think that's a, a problem that's been remedied. But, uh, yeah, this radio has a lot of functions for what you're getting for the price, all of that stuff. Um, I think it's worth it. And I do have links below. I'm not trying to sell you guys this thing. Um, but I'm just saying for what my, what I think is a good radio to get that does so many things. It's like a shack in the box right here. You got two meter 440 that you can use safely within the parameters. You have a, uh, FM CB, uh, mode that you can go in, you can transmit on, uh, the FM CB frequencies, one channels, one through 40, you can program them in, you have shortwave receive, you have ham bands. I've got a lot of different shorts out there that have, uh, given examples of receive on this thing. And, um, the battery life is incredible. All of the versatile versatility of this thing how you can program all these things. Uh, like I said, you can do the, uh, the repeater, you can do the, uh, spectrum analyzer. There's a NOAA FM. I forget where I programmed all these things. There's a spectrum analyzer channel. Number one, I forget if I got something on channel two. No, I don't. Let's do three. There's uh NOAA again. Um, Yeah, look at that. Um, it's a great radio, you guys. So it, it uh, has a pretty good building uh, following. Uh, the following for this radio is building. So that means more uh, people are coming out with new firmware. And uh, there's uh, uh, some good Facebook groups out there. You can learn a lot and ask questions and things like that. 
And to be to be honest, the Radtel support was really good, and they got back with me within 24 hours, um, and we we fixed that problem initially. So um, I I have asked them to send me out one with the GPS and APRS. I don't know if they're going to do that or not. <laughs> Uh, my channel is not a big time channel. It probably doesn't really warrant that, but I hope they do. I, I would totally review the GPS and APRS. APRS is something that I do not do. I think it's complicated and I don't have time for it. And I, I'm just one of these guys. I haven't really, the thought of being tracked <laughs> and giving my location all the time doesn't seem too appealing to me, but, um, I'm sure it has its purposes. So, um, anyhow, that'd be fun to try out. But uh, yeah, that's what you got there. This uh, super easy to get into crossband repeat mode, you guys. Anyhow, I'll do more videos as I can here with this thing. And thanks for watching. And let me know what you guys think. Appreciate it. Take care. God bless.